I can't believe that little Adele, who you know, we'd asked to 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 recite, to write a yeah. poem at the opening of the Nelson um, Awari Medical Center yeah. when you were with us, is now this incredible, globally acclaimed me media personality. Yeah. That is so so awesome. One of the things you know that we are very keen to ensure with people that come through our through through the Ginadin Group is to make sure that they come in as strangers but leave as family. Mm -hmm. And you know, I've got so many young people that have come, spent time with us, left and gone on to just do amazing things. Yeah. And yet they remain part of this extended family of mine. And so I really watch yeah. the journeys of each one of my daughters, my yeah. sons, and I get so proud. You know, I just get so proud to think that maybe we contributed in a tiny yeah. way to to these people being who they now are. It really gives me so much pleasure. And, you know, I'm excited for you, Adele. I'm excited for, you know, where you're gonna take the Adele brand. Yeah. And I'm excited for all the things that you do, and you do so much. I mean, I, you know, once in a while, not often, but yeah. once in a while I'll listen to you. I'm like, that's my girl, Adele. <laughs> so I'm really, really yeah. excited. And I'd love you to share with the viewers on, you know, what were the things that we taught you? What, mm. what were the things that you could say you know, you learned from your short time with us? I think, especially the generation that we live in, it's like, us guys don't really value hard work. We want success and we want it now. We see it every day on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. And so we want it and we want it now, right? And there are not many people who are sharing the stories of hard work. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine at 16, clearly, I was probably in the same mind space of, even me, I just want to be glamorous. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see the celebs at all these events, you know what I mean? But then I learned the hard work and I was like, oh, oh uh -huh. okay. <laughs> so this is what it means. It's a job, no. you know? And so I think that was something that then was instilled in me and I just carried forward because then um, I realized that everything that I want, I'm possibly going to have to work twice as hard because it's not a normal route that I'm taking. Yeah. So first I have to introduce this new concept and say this is what it is and then work again on top of it to make it successful. That's true. That's so I mean like, do. yeah, so afterwards then I started my poetry gig, which is open mic, hosted by Adele. And I was like, okay, let's make poetry make money for me. How do I do this? How do I make this a brand? What do we need to do, you know? And it's just using your talent, right? It's yeah. Just, not enough people do that. We have so many people that are doing something that is actually not what they're cut out for. Yeah. And you know, that doesn't work. And I think you always you, know. Exactly, you, you always do. know. And you just don't feel like you, there's something not that doesn't yeah. sit well, right? Yeah. So when, you, when it does sit well, you know that's where you're meant to be. Yeah. And I think that's what's so exciting about what you're doing because you're clearly where you're meant to be. Right? Yeah, and you feel it and you feel purposeful. Um, one of the, there's a quote that I read, I can't remember by who, and it said, if you chase your purpose then the profit comes afterwards. That's true. And I was like, okay, makes sense. Sawa, let's do this. And it's just to always know for me that my brand and my personality are one. They have to Sometimes it makes it very hard because then you get emotional about things and you have to stop get and be like, okay, no, <laughs> you know? But it's, it's funny to think back to working in PR and to think for many, many years, I'd say, yeah, I study PR, but I'm doing radio, so two different worlds, you know? But now in this day and age, you, you have to build a brand. Yep. And the brand has to have meat in it and you have to keep evolving this brand. It's true, you have to keep reinventing yes, it. Yes, right? yeah, so it is PR for sure. <laughs> but you know what, that's the thing about PR is yeah. that actually every single person needs it. You yeah. Know, I, sometimes you look at it like oh, only, you know, big, big businesses, we have Michael yeah. Joseph or whatever that need, need PR, but yeah. each one of us, every individual, needs you know, it, it's, yeah. it's all about what is our brand, you know, what does our brand stand yeah. for? It doesn't matter what we're doing. So I had to write down, I actually had to write down all of those things like, okay, what are uh, bring it down to three concepts what does adele stand for okay it's this three what is your mission exactly all right it's you have this. to and you actually have to do that and it's not just how many followers do you have yeah. <laughs> but talking about followers yeah. you have a lot you a have few. you have yeah, you do. <laughs> no you definitely are sort of well well followed yeah. well but i always wonder and i i worry sometimes about women in mm. media and about the pressure on those women i mean you yeah. look at like instagram photos and you know, it's this, the pressure on women in public um, mm. spaces, like like, like you know, on social media. They have to look. They have to keep looking so good, yeah. and yet men they never don't. have that pressure on them. So I always wonder, you know, what's that like, where you have to keep sort of. But know, I think I think they think they have to keep looking 
like somebody else is good because my definition of and i've always said i'm never going to give somebody else the power to define certain things for me so success that's mine to define happiness that's mine to define beauty that's mine to define i'm never going to give it to anybody else to do that for me so when i do so that way i don't feel the pressure because you'll come and you'll say if i post up a photo and i get trolled all the I time mm -hmm. all the time and somebody will, if I put up a photo and somebody is like, oh, this is ugly or your teeth are crooked. I'm like, no, actually, I just see a really hot chick. So I don't know. Like, <laughs> wow. But you know what? The thing is, Adele, you're 20, 28? 28, yeah. What, you know, how did you become so like self-confident and so self-assured where actually yeah. you don't really like you don't really care what anybody else thinks because yeah. you have that inner knowing of, you know, this is who Adele is. This is me. Yeah. And, you, you know, you're not apologizing for it. This is just who you are. I think it's two things. First, it's my late mom. Yeah. Your um, mom. Your yeah. mom was awesome. I mean, I loved her. We yeah. did a lot of work together, you know, and the, what the work she did for breast cancer yeah. was just incredible. She impacted so many women in this country. Yeah. It was amazing. So, and even just her, her journey with breast cancer. I mean, breast cancer at the time she got it, which was 1999, it was you don't talk about it if you have cancer. Stigma, the right? Stigma was real. And my mom came out and she was like, I have it. So now, exactly. <laughs> you know, no, she was incredible. And so from a young age, I was conditioned to see it's normal to just be your truth. Authentically right? you. Whatever it is, just mm -hmm. be it. And luckily, I grew up in a home that allowed me to be that. I mean, I was in other homes that probably have been labeled the black sheep, going into media, writing poems, picking yeah. up a so camera a one bit, day. Bit you know? out there, you know? <laughs> And my mom was like, oh, you like this? Okay. And she'd buy me poetry books and be oh. like, okay, do this. I, she used to perform when she was in yeah. university. She was like, oh, we can read the poems together and oh. stuff like that. And both my two elder sisters were into math. I used to feel math. So, <laughs> so oh. at least I came from a home that allowed me to be me. And then the second thing is that it's very important, I think not just in media, in any circle, to be very very careful who is in your inner circle that's so true i always say, yeah you know it's 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 um big network but tight circle mm. you know that's so important yeah. yeah and so i've learned so well how to compartmentalize people like you are a colleague 